Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. I'm Tom Kenny. A crime alert has been issued for the University of Kentucky campus after a student says she was attacked early this morning. The victim says she was walking along Columbia Avenue right behind the W.T. Young Library around 2 in the morning when she was pulled from behind, causing her to fall into a parked car. She did suffer minor injuries to her face. The student says she remembers seeing three men standing near a car but couldn't remember their faces. Anyone with information is asked to contact the U.K. Police Department. It was a killing spree that gripped this nation for two months back in 2002. Sixteen deaths, ten of them close to the nation's capital, in what became known as the D.C. sniper case. This afternoon, as part of Kentucky's Crime Victims' Rights Day, the ex-wife of D.C. sniper John Mohammed talked about the years of domestic abuse she su suffered. Mildred Muhammad says she was abused mentally, emotionally, not physically. She claims if authorities had just taken her pleas for help more seriously, that killing rampage could have been avoided. I don't have any guilt with her. That's John's burden to bear. I did all I knew what I was supposed to do legally to inform law enforcement of the threat that was upon me. And that's all I can do. John Muhammad is on death row in Virginia for one of the killings. Mildred Muhammad says she was actually her ex-husband's intended target. And she believes he went on the random killing spree to cover up his plans to kill her. Back in the bluegrass, funeral services were held this afternoon for a central Kentucky mayor who died last week. Don Kaiser served as mayor of Paris for the past seven years. You see some of the pageantry today as firefighters city officials and residents gathered to pay their final respects. Mayor Kaiser died last week of a heart attack. He collapsed in City Hall. He was 72. Friends say, though he was an elected official, he never lost the common touch. Visitation was held last night. A huge turnout for that at First Baptist Church in Paris. Beam Global Spirits and Wine, who own the Jim Beam Distillery in Frankfurt, say they're doing everything they can to prevent another tragic accident from happening at the Elkhorn Creek Dam. Several people have been killed there, and more recently, a 16-year-old girl nearly drowned as the dam known as the Drowning Machine almost claimed another victim. After the story aired on ABC 36 News this past weekend, the company sent us a statement saying it's going to be meeting with the Bluegrass Wildwater Association to see what can be done to make the dam safer. The company says it's owned the land since the 1930s and has posted numerous caution signs to make kayakers aware of the existing danger there. That is our update. You will still see some scattered rain in the forecast, but mild temperatures. Get the latest at WTVQ.com.